What happens when one of the richest men in the world decides to divorce his wife and then starts dating the wife of one of the most powerful men in Hollywood? Well, we're about to find out. CBS 2's Rachel Kim live in Hollywood with the latest on that. Rachel. Well, Jeff, today, text messages allegedly sent between Bezos and his girlfriend were released. Now, as more details emerge about their reported relationship, we wanted to know how his divorce could impact Hollywood. Not long after Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos and his wife Mackenzie announced they were divorcing after 25 years of marriage, reports surfaced that Bezos had been dating TV personality Lauren Sanchez. I'm Lauren Sanchez. It's Thursday, October 26th. She's now separated from her husband, Patrick Whitesell. He's the co-CEO of the Hollywood agency WME and reportedly introduced Bezos to his wife. All three were photographed together in 2017 at an Amazon party. Hollywood is an emotional place, and so I would suspect in the short term at least uh, that there'll be some awkwardness. Jonathan Handel is a contributing editor for The Hollywood Reporter and an entertainment lawyer. He says this divorce can negatively affect Amazon. Since the Bezos assets must be split equally in their divorce, she can become one of the company's largest shareholders. And the question is whether they will continue to get along amicably, as they seem to be right now, uh, or whether tension at some point would develop that might create uh, tensions within the company. Handel says the relationship between Bezos and Sanchez may have an impact on what we see on the big and small screens. Amazon is a major distributor, major financier of both movie type product and television series type product. If I were an agent at WME, William Morris Endeavor, the talent part, and was thinking of taking a project to Amazon, I might hesitate a little. Bezos has not commented on his reported relationship with Sanchez, but his spokesperson says he remains focused on his company. Reporting live tonight in Hollywood, Rachel Kim, CBS 2 News.